Got those sons of guns up. If nothing else, it cleans out the uh, spray tent for the next set of shelves. And okay, we'll edit that out. Alright, so we get a little bit more sense of what the kitchen is going to look like. That's not as overpowering as I had feared, so I'm pretty happy. Getting these things to mate was not fun. This is not... These two cabinets uh, are on different planes. So this one was not, I guess, straight up and down. It, it Relative to this, it goes inwards as you go down. So this was inset um, quite a bit. So you might not have recognized it from the sped up version, but at some point I just I clamped the two together. I screwed these, done my best to hide the screws. Uh, and then when they were together, then I set that in place and then came back and did this. Something went a little bit wrong with this one. Um, not entirely sure what went wrong or why, but I wanted that slightly further off the countertop. It's only like 17 and a half inches and I was planning on 18. So maybe it's because, no, I measured again. So I don't know what happened there, but it's done. I don't think there's actually any requirement for the cabinets to be off the um, counters. There's a requirement for the cabinets to be off the stove. Oh, and I forgot, <laughs> these two have also been uh, secured together. <clears throat> those screws, you probably can't even see them. Uh, these, of course, I'm expecting those to be hidden by the fridge once it arrives and is installed. So, finally, kitchen's starting to come together. Again, I'm happy with the decision to stick with unstained maple because it's very light and doesn't uh, close the kitchen in any more than it already is. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Bye. Bye.